Iowa associate head coach Terry Brands going into the Midlands Hall of Fame. Uh, what are your favorite memories from this tournament as a competitor? I would say the, the band of John Peterson Chapel Services um, would be the fondest memory I have of the tournament. Uh, the accolade is it means that you did a few things right in your career and they recognize you for that later in your life. So, you know, it's a good thing to have happen. We got a lot of business to take care of. Um, so it's, it's even though it's meaningful and I don't want to be ungrateful, there's still a lot of things that we need to do today and for the rest of this season and really the rest of my career on the wrestling mat. So, you know, it's a step in the right direction as meaning that, yeah, I, okay, so they're going to recognize you for something, right? You won a few titles and, you know, and you're associated with a program that's won a lot of team titles and, you know, those are the things that we're about. That's what Iowa's about. It's, we're about winning at the highest level we can and winning by the highest margin that we can. And, and if that means that I get to go into a Hall of Fame, then, then we'll take it. The first thing you mentioned was the, the Ben and John Peterson Chapel Services. Yeah. What did you get out of those? Well, I mean, it, it's no secret, I think, that, you know, I love Jesus. And, you know, we, we have, a, me and Birak have a thing where when we see each other, like, Jesus! You know, and, and I love the toughness um, of the faith. Uh, the mental, in the intestinal fortitude and the mental toughness and um, the things and the attributes that Jesus had. I love that and, and uh, you know, I want to emulate that. And you know, people, people talk about meekness and meekness is a bridled horse. You know, meekness isn't, you know, a cow in a corner. Meekness is a bridled horse. I heard that when I lived in Woodland Park from a good friend of mine. And that stuck with me for a long, long time. And there's a lot of truth to that. And uh, um, John and Ben Peterson are renowned for, you know, their faith and, you know, advancing it forward and, and spreading the great word and the, and the news and the salvation and all that. So, you know, I love them for that. And I love, I, I don't know Ben well, but I love John Peterson, you know, like my own dad. He's been an awesome mentor. Um, he's been on a lot of tours. He stuck up for me in the corner of a lot of wrestling matches in Russia. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about their, their family game. Did you have one match that sticks out above the rest as far as just a, a total scrap here that you really I, appreciated? You know, I, I don't know. Um, I, I remember coming off the mat in... It was a close match. It was, I think it was my senior year, and it was the last match of the day, and I was fire hot, you know, fire engine, red hot, whatever you want to call it. I was steaming out of both ears and, you know, just fuming, and, and, and um, Gable said, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. And I remember that, and it calmed me down, you know, because, I, you know, we're, we're in the end of December, and the national tournament's in March, and I'm wrestling this guy, you know, I think I, I think I beat him by maybe three or four points, and it shouldn't, in my, you know, in my, and no disrespect to my opponent, but it should have been close. It should have been that close. And, you know, him being able to say that and read and understand who I am, you know, and knowing where the frustration was coming from, but being there in a calming uh, uh, mentor, mentorship way, and then knowing how to press my buttons. You know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that. It was, hey, we'll fix it. And so that's probably the, the most, you know, mem best memory or, or whatever, most, most, most clear memory that I have of wrestling here.